feel that I, I should not share myself and I share my country because I was said that and I, I, I was fighting also to be one of the participants uh, in the uh, Olympics uh, coming uh, next year in London. So it was my great opportunity and I, I had handled it with a lot of care. Thank you. Thank you. There is a question at the end. Material. Congratulations. Uh, was it a risk to go so early in the race? You was going very early in the race alone. Was that a risk? Uh, you know, when it comes to uh, the race where you have uh, strong uh, competitors, you need to be also wise. Uh, running is not only leg; it's not only legs. It is uh, a lot with the mind. So. I was uh, I was prepared to use also my my, my own uh, calculation in the mind. So uh, I knew something may happen uh, during the last one or two kilometers. So I had to, to go, and I, I find myself winning. Thank you. We here we have a question to the gentleman. Wait for the microphone, please. Potevi lo dico in italiano quando lui dico se una giornata di gioia per il Kenya se non voglio ricordare Sammy Vangelo. The question was if I understand well si, uh, whether si, he si, remembers something. Si, uh, si, 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 un altro giorno di gioia per il Kenya, no? Se non ecco, voglio ricordare un grande atleta come Sammy Vangelo che è scomparso qualche mese fa. Can you comment how you remember and what are your feelings when you now think about Sammy Vangelo? Uh, actually, uh, when uh, all happens to Vangelo, uh, I, I, I shed my tears and I, I really. Um, uh, I was seeing when he was a fighting uh, man all the time. He was fighting. He was not uh, letting his chance uh, go by its own way. So we say uh, legally we are sorry for what happened to Wanjiru. And uh, because I had mentioned, because I was uh, wishing that Wanjiru could, we could have been running maybe with Wanjiru today. But uh, God knows all, the, uh, all, all these things in this world. So we are very sorry. We take a uh, moment to say we are sorry for Wanjiru. We are there to play the role that uh, Wadiru used to play in Kenya. Okay, David Monty here. <coughs> Are you? Yes, yes, David, go ahead. Hello, Abel. Congratulations. Tell us a little bit about where you live and your training group and who is in your group and uh, what kind of training you do. Uh, I a little bit uh, changed my training and uh, I moved from uh, where I used to stay uh, in uh, Kapsabet and I went to Eden specifically for my serious uh, training because uh, actually training uh, uh, at home uh, sometimes uh, may, may not uh, keep the, the, the exact results you wanted, especially when you come to Olympic uh, or World Championship. So uh, when I, I get uh, Renato Canova and he was uh, sometimes assisted with almost Kore, uh, my previous coach, uh, and then the, we had to make uh, drawings and some good mathematics uh, for preparation of this course. So I was uh, with the, the group of uh, other athletes, not uh, for my manager, Kilbert Kirwa, the guy called Jonathan Major, who is very strong in half marathon, he has 59. So we were pushing uh, each other in, in the training. It's actually a good number, not uh, too many people. And, uh, like Itwara, we used to go for long run with uh, Itwara. So I knew I was in the group where I cannot uh, lose anything. But I, can, we can, we, I, I knew that I, I, I can survive and make something clear. Thank you. There was a question. Yes, Abel. Three years ago, you were a pacemaker in Berlin for the world record. Now you are twice world champion. What changed your mind with these three years? Uh, Actually, uh, after I realized that I had the talent in myself, uh, uh, I was uh, fighting all to produce the best uh, during my time in my career. Like you said, Paul, I am happy about it. After missing uh, the 100 meters, he fight enough to show that he is talented enough and he won uh, 200 meters. So men, great men, always uh, remember us and follow their talent. Thank you. Here is a question from the nation here. Uh, congratulations, uh, Sergeant Kirui. You are a big, very big fan of uh, Manchester United. 
and uh, when they won, they beat Arsenal 8 2. Did you feel that this is going to be your championship? This is your, your week? And, uh, of course, it was a good foreshadow. <laughs> it, was, uh, it makes me that uh, something I had is uh, coming. And also, I, the last time, because I, before I came, I kept my last blessings uh, from my judge. I kept my last blessings from my, my grandmother, who is almost eight years now, eight five years. So definitely, uh, my ways was prevalent. Thank you. There is a question. Uh, maybe uh, you both can talk about